Once the numbers were in, all winners were accounted for. Naperville News 17's Christine Lena gives us the recap. The primary elections saw strong voter turnout in DuPage and Will counties, with many tight races. Locally in the 6th Congressional District, Democrat and Energy Executive Sean Caston won his bid by just over 3%. He'll race against Republican incumbent Peter Roscom. In the 6th District, for the first time, as long as anybody can remember, there were more people that pulled a Democratic ballot than pulled a Republican ballot. There's a big change going on, and it'll be interesting to see as the numbers come out. It's possible that that reflects an increase in Democratic engagement. DuPage County board nominee and Naperville City Councilwoman Patty Gustin narrowly took the Republican vote with just 3% over her opponent. Dawn Dessart took the Democratic nomination for the DuPage County Board with nearly 2% over Sadia Covert. Over to Will County, this fall you'll see Republicans Julie Berkowitz and Kathy Havel on the ballot for District 11 of the Will County Board. The two Napervillians will face the uncontested Democratic nominee Michelle Mimi Cohen. For Comptroller of Illinois, incumbent Democrat Susanna Mendoza and Republican Darlene Sanger both ran unopposed for their nominations. Republican James Mendrick grabbed the DuPage County Sheriff nomination over Frank Bibiano with 60 percent of votes. Republican Tonya Curry won the nomination for Illinois House District 49 with 65 percent of the vote. In the 11th District, Republican and Benedictine University alum Nick Stella had a sweeping victory with 79 percent of the vote. He'll face Democratic incumbent Bill Foster in November. Stella said, we need to get people out to vote. It's important to get people to realize that voting is the most important thing that you have as a citizen. It's critical. People need to be empowered again because they feel their input doesn't count, but it does. I want to empower people in the 11th district. And Naperville native Lauren Underwood triumphed over her six male competitors, taking the Democratic nomination for the 14th Congressional District with nearly 60 percent of the vote. She'll go up against Republican incumbent Randy Holtgren in the general election. And I'm the first woman that's been nominated from the Democratic Party to represent this community. And so as women have been gathered together in the Me Too movement, uh, women have been activated and marching across the country in these nonpartisan women's marches, and women have been leading the resistance. I'm excited to have a woman's voice uh, leading the conversation here in the 14th. Also of note, DuPage County voters decided in favor of dissolving the DuPage County Election Commission and merging it with the DuPage County Clerk's Office. The results from that vote are non-binding, but could help state lawmakers push the issue through in Springfield. Overall, voter turnout seems to be on the rise in DuPage, as about 41 percent more ballots were cast this time around, as compared to the 2014 general primary, when there was also no presidential race. It feels like there's a lot of more interest, a lot more people paying attention and just um, people being more active and getting involved, so that's heartening. 23% of registered voters in DuPage County went to the polls, and in Will County, about 21% of registered voters cast their ballots. Well, I think democracy, you know, uh, people have fought wars and I think it's just very important to use that, exercise that right to vote. I think, I say, it's a right which some countries in the world don't have. I'm dual citizenship with the UK, so we've had that right for about 200 years to be able to vote. And it's the same over here, so I think you should exercise that right to vote. Reporting for Naperville News 17, I'm Christine Lena. The general election will be held November 6th.